Hey Leo, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Neek, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates and what doesn't leave for another fellow Leo healing homie. Um, your intuitive message is you're getting yourself stuck again. Don't do that. Stop overthinking. Stop overanalyzing. Stop trying to make up excuses for people. Just stop. Why? Because you know this person is already full of shit. For some of you, you're dealing with someone that had a baby girl and they're lying about it. You know they're lying about it. Um, they're, they're not being themselves. Okay? And you see that. And the reason why you see that they're not being themselves is because you are being yourself. You're showing up as who you are and you're not hiding it. So when you're authentic, you your radar is up where you can see when people are not being who they say they are. Okay, a lot of you guys have been really working on yourselves, telling yourselves positive affirmations, and you're still wondering why uh, things hurt so bad, why why life is uh, could be the way that it is sometimes, and that's normally because that's just life, okay? There are times when life is good, there's times when life is bad, sometimes life stings, and that's okay. Um, you guys had the wasp come up. Okay, so we're going to find out the spiritual meaning of was. Okay. Let's see what the spiritual meaning is. It says spiritual meaning of was in your house. Um, since only the newly mated queens survive the period of hibernation and due to their connection to fertility and pollination wasps have long be been viewed as symbol of endurance renewal and change okay so you may be going through changes right now you're learning how to be your authentic self some of you guys if you are pregnant congratulations you're having a girl um sorry for the spoiler alert um but yeah, a lot of you guys uh, have endured a lot. And through the endurance that you've been, well, the endurance you've had to have to go through what you went through, um, you've learned that being yourself is the best ingredient uh, to the recipe, playing this game of life, okay? Because when you're yourself, you attract who you are, okay? And that could be a good thing and that could be a bad thing. So if you keep attracting something that you no longer want to be or be around, then there's still something within you that you need to change, okay? Maybe there's something that you um, haven't been yourself about, okay? But let's see. Uh, I don't know why, but um, Spirit's like it's time for you to be yourself. Yeah, see, some of you, you've had to start all over from square one. You may even feel a void. You may even feel a little lonely right now. And that may sting. But the thing is, when you feel this way, you have to remind yourself that this is open space. This is a blank canvas. And it could become anything that you want it to. The question is, what choices are you going to make? What cycles are you going to end and begin in order for these possibilities to occur. I'm trying to remember, was it Capricorn I think I was talking to when I was saying that you may, you're you always at this crossroad where you have to make a choice and either choice is neither right or wrong because each side has pros and cons and, and consequences, whether the consequences are good or bad, but you gotta make a move, okay? You have to make a choice. Are you gonna be on healthy cycles or are you gonna be on karmic cycles? Are you gonna be on in your entertaining your lower self or are you gonna entertain your higher self? Because there's always a possibility of anything. Okay. Some of you have gotten to this point now, finally. Some of you three months from now is where you'll you'll be uh at this point of starting over, possibly even feeling lonely. You know the feeling when you first get out of a relationship and and in the beginning, the first couple months, you're like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then three months down the line after the breakup is when you realize how hurt you really are. Because you've been distracting yourself. 
And it's okay to distract yourself to get over some things, but make sure they're healthy distractions. Distractions that are gonna help better you as an individual. And it's okay to feel lonely. But the thing is, don't get into something or go back to your old ways just because you're lonely. Because you'll get yourself back on a hamster wheel that you really don't want to. Some of you are looking at your past like there's nothing left. Okay? There's nothing left. There, what is, you are a loser. You're zero. You're, you're done. There's nothing, you have no substance. You're no, you're, it's it. Okay? Some of you may have had a girl with someone from your past, a little girl. Some of my Leos. Yeah, so you done showed up in your own reading, but you have to have the courage to see things for what they are. Whether they're full of shit, whether they're not, whether this is the person you're supposed to be with, whether you know that this, this person is who you've always wanted, okay? For some of you guys, you may have always felt this void in you, this emptiness within you, something you've always felt like something was missing from you. But now you have the courage to see and accept why you felt the way that you felt. And you're seeing that you have a choice now to fill that void with something good, which is you. What is it that you want to fill yourself up with? If you're feeling empty inside, what do you want to fill yourself up with? And Spirit's asking you to be yourself so that you can get what it is that you truly want. Some of you want emotional balance within yourself. You want to be more intuitive. You want to connect more with your spiritual gifts. Some of you have these spiritual gifts and are aware of these spiritual gifts, but they're not working for you because you're not balanced emotionally. Okay? Yeah, see, you're changing. You're moving forward away from your past. Your past has transformed you into a whole nother person. Your thinking has changed. And and going through your dark night of the soul, because you're gonna go through a couple of them, okay? Each level, there's a different devil and people are always gonna come back around from your past to test you to see how stupid you are. But how you respond and, and how you react changes. How you view them changes. You don't look at people the same. If you've done people wrong, you're seeing, okay, well, you have to sit there and get your karma back for what you've ever done wrong. And this is, you know, karma spinning the block for you. You done paid your karmic debts. And now you're seeing that you could be a better person. You could be dating with purpose now instead of just dating people because you were lonely, entertaining people because you were lonely. You're changing those things about yourself now. You're seeing everything for what it is. And that's when the growth comes. That's when you start achieving the things that you want to achieve for yourself because you're starting to take care of yourself. You're starting to love yourself. Okay, this is when the abundance comes in. For some of you guys, this little girl is going to bring so much abundance to your life. Whether she grows up and becomes a mult, the first millionaire in your family or this girl this little girl inspires you to create a business or something like that this little girl can be a leader she's already showing signs of being a leader especially if she's a leo like you and you're realizing that you have to change for her because she's going to be watching you she's going to be watching you and you're going if you're a male you're showing her how men are supposed to treat her if you're a female and you're the mother, you're showing her how to accept love from the opposite sex, how to have a relationship with the same sex as far as girlfriends go, her homegirls go. Because if her relationship with you is rocky, that's going to set the tone for the relationships with other females. And if you're the male here and you have a little girl, the relationship you have with her is going to set the tone for her future relationships with people of the opposite sex. See, you guys are having the courage to do a lot of mental and emotional healing from things from your past. And your past it, it will always come up when you're healing. Always. It'll always come up because it's going to sit there and trigger you to see if you're going to respond differently. 
Are you going to see things from a different perspective? Are you going to really see things for what they really were and are and who people are? Some of you are really seeing somebody for who they are, immature. Or you're seeing yourself like, I'm still immature. I'm still playing games. I'm still learning. I still have a lot of growing up to do. And you may even feel a little stagnant right now, but that's because with this Mercury retrograde, a lot of things are being revealed to us that we still need to work on. It's time to sit still for right now. It's time to reflect on the things that you have done and how far you've come and congratulate yourself and to also realize the things that you still need to work on within yourself. Some of you are just realizing that, shoot, this person is just ain't my person. And that's okay. You may have to leave them behind. It's not to say that this person can't catch up and do the work for themselves. You guys just had a halt fly by. Hold on. Let's see what the spiritual meaning of that is. That's why I love doing my readings at this window. One of the most obvi obvious spiritual meanings of a hawk is freedom. By spreading their wings and taking to the skies, they embody freedom. Dreaming of a bird of prey or seeing one in your walking life can suggest that you are caged. You need to shed anything that is holding you back and find your own freedom. See, you're letting go in the past because the past keep, is keeping you stuck. I tell people all the time, history keeps you stuck and stagnant. So if you've been wondering why you're stuck and stagnant, it's because of your past and you need to free yourself of your past and you're being divinely guided to follow your heart, to follow your passions, to follow your dreams, to, to step back into who you are, divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? And going after what it is that you want. Knowing that you deserve love, okay? Unconditional love. But let's get some homegirl advice. Don't allow your past mistakes to hold you back either, Leo. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, see, it's time to think big, especially if you have a business or something that you want and you want to achieve it. Do it. Also, protect your energy at this time. Because you may be a little vulnerable right now and you may be in your feelings right now. But spirit wants you to protect your energy and use logic over emotions right now see things for what they are and not what you want it to be pay attention to the signs bitch I'm telling you right now pay attention to the signs the signs was was that wasp the sign was was that that hulk that just flew by is there anything else the divine spirit Spiritual bath, everybody's been getting this. Right now, during this retrograde, it's time to do your spiritual cleansings, do your spiritual bath to protect your energy, okay? Because a lot of childhood traumas is coming up, all right? And you want to get through it from a grounded place. You want to see things for what they are. And at the bottom of the deck, it says it's not meant to be. So whoever you sat there and was thinking about, it, it, ain't, it ain't meant to be. Especially if it's from your past and it's something that's holding you back and making you feel guilty and, and not aligning with you like you wanted to. You got to have the willpower to sit there and, and uh, let that go. It's time to let it go. And this plane been jumping since I've been doing your reading. So let's get a positive affirmation from my Leos. Divine Spirit, give me a positive affirmation from my Leos. Okay, we have three. We have self-love. Okay, we have patience. We have spontaneity. Okay, a lot of you guys, it, it's time to work on you still. Okay, there's nothing wrong with dating other people, getting to know people. But take your time because you got to be honest with yourself. Where are you? Are you still dealing with trust issues? Are you still dealing with insecurities? Are you still dealing? Because guess what? You're going to sit there and attract your reflections. And if you're thinking about the past and you're stuck and dwelling on the past, guess what? You are going to bring back your karmic reflections. So spirit wants you to be patient, wants to be kind, wants you to be kind to yourself and, and to work on loving you right now. 
because the more you love on you the more you work on you the more you're patient with yourself the more you sit there and go out and do different things to to change who you are and make yourself get on a higher frequency you're going to attract a better you a better reflection of yourself a lot of you guys are going to be entertaining and connecting with different people and these people is like god is showing you this is what you can have this is what you could experience this is what what life could be like but are you going to sit there and allow your past to hold you back or are you going to sit there and keep moving forward Sometimes being spontaneous is you just taking that leap of faith and not really knowing where, where life's going to take you, but you know it's going to take you on the higher road, on a better life, okay? So do some different things. Do things out of your norm. If you're a closed-off person, sit there and open yourself up a little bit, okay? But everything takes time. It's going to take time for you to sit there and get the person that you dreamed of. Why? Because you got to still work on you a little bit, okay? But let's get a positive affirmation for you guys. It says, make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. But you need to be grounded, okay? You may want to go, you know, somewhere where it's nice and warm and you may want to take a retreat somewhere okay go in the water be around plants and uh, nature okay you want to ground yourself so that you're making the right decisions not the wrong ones remember use your logic over your emotions right now see things for what they are not what you want it to be but i love you leo don't forget to like subscribe and share don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok for your daily um horoscopes and i will see you next time